Hello, today I will be discussing DNA fingerprinting through a crime drama mini episode involving some of the characters from the movie Madagascar. There has been a robbery at the 46th Street Bank of New York. It appears there was one gentleman injured and the suspect has successfully escaped the scene. Luckily, the robber left some evidence behind, a cloth bag he dropped whilst beginning the heist. Four suspect prints were recovered at the scene as well as the victims. Victim number one is a gentleman who knocked over as soon as the robber fled the bank in a hurry. Suspect one is the city-renowned Alex the Lion. Suspect two is Marty the Zebra. Suspect three is Gloria the Hippo, a special friend of Moto Moto. Suspect four is Melvin the Giraffe. Detectives in the New York City Police Department send the prints found at the crime scene to a lab for DNA analysis. The DNA sent to the lab is amplified on two VNTR loci. At VNTR loci one, you can see suspect three and four match both bands of the evidence. Since the victim and, the suspe and suspect two share no bands in common with the evidence, they are both no longer considered possible suspects. To determine a suspect three or four committed the robbery, we must now look at VNTR locus number two. This locus shows suspect one matching with and four matching with both evidence bands. Suspect four Melman must be the robber of the bank. While Melman is being cuffed and taken away to the slammer and the suspects are leaving the station, some officers notice suspect two getting in the car at suspect one. It appears suspect one is suspect two's father. To confirm that this is true, the VNTR locus is analyzed again. It appears that looking at the loci again reveals that suspect one and suspect two do in fact share bands at both loci, making them in fact father and son. Thank you.